if we are using IP address for connecting computers over the network, so what is the function of MAC address and how network nodes are using MAC address for end-to-end -end communication? MAC address. MAC address is stands for Media Access Control and it has many names on the network like physical address, hardware address, MAC address, and layer 2 address. It is used that every network device could identify itself on the network. It is 48 bit or 6 byte in length that has been physically burned inside the network interface card by the manufacturer. It is either wired or wireless network interface card or it could be a mobile device. As it is 48 bit longer, we can show it as 12 hexadecimal. It means it has any number on its structure, but it has only A to F later. As we discussed, it is a data link layer address in the OSI model and it is divided into two parts. The first part is OUI or Organizationally Unique Identifier and the second part is NIC or Network Interface Card. The first 3 byte or 24 bit representing the OUI which assigned to manufacturers and that is defining the manufacturers like it is belong to TP-Link, Cisco or Netgear companies. In the last 3 byte or 24 bit is called NEC or Network Interface Card and it is assigned by manufacturer to uniquely identify the device over the network. As we have different types of operating system and network devices over the network infrastructure, so checking MAC addresses are quite different. Let's see how we can check the MAC addresses on different device. We can find the MAC addresses with a different operating system differently, with using commands and graphically. Also, this is 12 hexadecimal address is showing with quite a different style in different platforms. In Windows, each 2 hexadecimal addresses is separated by dashes. In Apple and Linux, is separated by columns. But in Cisco, it is separated each 4 hexadecimal with dots. In Windows operating system, to check the MAC address, we can open the CMD. The first method is to type git MAC address. You will receive all the MAC addresses inside a computer. Also, you can type ipconfig forward slash all, you will receive the detailed IP configuration. And you can see this is the MAC address exists in this computer. Also, in Linux, you can type simply fconfig instead of ipconfig, you will receive all the detailed configuration. But in Cisco or Cisco switches, you can just type the command show IP interface or identify the interface by first Ethernet 1 slash 1. You can see here is the MAC address of this interface. <laughs> now you might ask yourself if devices are communicated with each other using MAC address. So what is the purpose of IP address? Aren't IP address are unique? Yes, public IP addresses are unique but both public IP address and private IP addresses are periodically changed by the administrator or service provider on the public services. But MAC addresses don't change and it is permanent. According to the TCP IP model, both MAC address and IP addresses are used together for communication. Like MAC addresses is used to identify the device an IP address is used to locate the device. For example, in the village there are several houses with a mailing address which each identify each house in the village or in the country, but in each house there are several people or humans are living, which houses are identifying as an IP address in person inside house are like MAC addresses. In simple word, we can say the IP address can tell us where is the device located, but MAC address can tell us who the device is. 
In the third section of this video, let's see the scenario how MAC addresses is used for communication over the LAN network. PC1 would like to communicate with PC4. First, he inspect either PC4 is on the same network or on different network. And after he found PC4 IP address, it is using the ARP broadcast over the network to discover PC4 MAC address. When the switch 1 receive the broadcast message from PC1, it will forward out all port except the port it received the message. And when the switch 2 receive the broadcast message from switch 1, it is doing the same process in forwarding the broadcast message to all port except the port it received. No one will reply to the ARP broadcast message and only PC4 will replay to the ARP broadcast message with its MAC address. And thereafter, the communication between PC1 and PC4 will start. In the second scenario, pretend if both computers are in different network. Or let's say PC1 would like to open the google.com website. Now PC1 open the browser and type google.com. The DNS server will convert that name into IP address. Then the PC1 check this IP address is not in the same network, so it will try to find Google server MAC address. After PC1 found that this IP address in different network, so it will send the odd broadcast message to find the default gateway MAC address. Once it's found the default gateway MAC address, it will send the packet to the default gateway for further process. If this router or default gateway doesn't have information about the next hop, it do the same process and send the ARP broadcast to find the next hop MAC address. Thereafter, it will forward the packet to that or next hop. Till the package is reached to the final router that is attached to the Google server. Probably that router is a main connection point for the Google server, so that might have the Google server MAC address. Otherwise, it do the same process and send the out broadcast message to have Google MAC address. Thereafter, it is replaying to that message till the MAC address is reached to the requester, I mean PC1, for further communication. In every time when we would like to send data to the unknown destination, it will take the same process till the source computer find the MAC address of the destination computer. In the last part of this chapter, let's see practically how layer 2 switches are dynamically learning MAC addresses for all connected devices. Each switch have a table called a MAC address table or also we call them CAM table that is used for storing the MAC addresses of all connected devices. So how it could learn its connected devices MAC addresses, let's see the practical scenario. Pretend PC1 would like to communicate with PC4. In the first step, the PC1 is sending the ARP broadcast message to the destination or PC4 with its MAC address to find PC4 MAC address. When the switch receives that ARP broadcast, it is storing the MAC address of PC1 and thereafter forward that out broadcast out all interface except the port it was received. And when the out broadcast message received on switch 2, this switch do the same process, storing PC1 MAC address and forward the out message out all port except the port it was received. In the second step, after the destination computer or PC4 received and replayed the ART message, then the switch 2 is storing PC4 MAC address as well and then forwarded to switch 1. After the switch 1 received that ART replay with PC4 MAC address, it is storing PC4 MAC address inside the CAM table. And the same process is going to be done for all devices till the switch is completing and fulfilling its CAM table. And after the switch CAM table is completed, the connected node or computers are communicating directly. 
Now let's practice it in the packet tracer how switches are completing their cam table or MAC address table for all the connected devices. As you can see the diagram I have prepared the same diagram inside the packet racer and assigned the same IP addresses with their MAC addresses. Let's open switch 1 and check their cam table or MAC address table by typing show MAC address table. You can see it is only learning the MAC address of connected switch 2 and now let's open switch 2 CLI and type show MAC address table. You can see it has only learned the connected switch 1 MAC address and there is no MAC address of all connected devices. In the first stage let's ping computer 4 from computer 1. The ping is successful. Now let's see the MAC address table again for both switches. Now you can see that the MAC address of PC1 and PC4 has been added on both switches. Now let's ping PC3 from PC1. The ping is successful. So now let's check the MAC address table on switch 1. You can see the CAM table has been updated with another MAC address of PC3. So this process is going to be happen for all connected device for the first time till the switch is completing their CAM table. Thereafter the switch will communicate directly to each other and not need to send the out broadcast message for finding the destination MAC addresses. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.